welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I am bringing you my top five DE razor blade video. I made one of these a while ago. Uh, it might have been just over a year ago. I can't quite remember. However, my, I think my preferences have changed over time. Let's get this out of the way. So, what do I what do I look for in a raise, in a DE razor blade? So, for me, that what I've noticed and something you'll see as a trend throughout the whole of this video is something I like is consistent consistency. I want all of my blades to be sharp throughout their life. I want them to be able to last a little bit, a little bit of time. Although frankly, blades aren't very expensive and I actually don't think longevity is that important, but not having to throw them away after two, two shaves is a bonus. It's not a necessity, but it's a bonus. Uh, I want them to be able to be smooth and sharp, those two things. and to remain that way for as long as possible throughout their life. Even if they last three shaves, I want them to be as close as they were to coming out of the packet. And I think quite a lot of these blades actually fit the bill in that regard. Number five on this list, Permasharp Super Stainless by Gillette. Uh, I really like these blades. I've always liked these blades. I probably tried these about a year ago now. Um, I think they may have been on my odd list. However, I might be wrong. Uh, these are made in Russia by Gillette. Quite a lot of the blades in this list are Russian for whatever reason. I don't know if they have a different process and certainly one of my favorite regions when it comes to making safety razor blades for sure. I would say um, the reason why these are number five and not higher up in the list is because they don't last quite as long for me personally. After about three shaves, I'm done. There's been times where after two shaves, I feel, okay, this definitely doesn't feel the same way as it did on the first shave, so I'd had, I've had to throw them away. But overall, this is a consistently good blade. It's sharp, it's smooth, really all you want from a DE razor blade, and this is number five on my list. Gillette Perma Sharps, standard packet. I'm gonna put um, links to everything down below so you can see uh, how to get separate packs and 100 packs, see if I can find some 100 packs. There's gonna be some of these that are gonna be pretty hard to find. Number four, and one I've started using fairly recently and I really enjoy, the Bic Chrome Platinum. Uh, this is one of my top razor blades and this is a new one on the list. Uh, I've used, started using them fairly recently, as I said. Now, I would say these last a bit longer than the Perma Sharps for me. They, they start out very sharp, actually. Uh, one of the sharper razor blades in my experience, the Bic Chrome Platinums. What I would say about these is I've not found their consistency to be top, top, top notch. Maybe one in five blades won't be quite as good as you'd expect. Overall, I've had some fantastic shaves with these. What I like to do is, and something that's important for me, is I like to find a blade and I stick with it. Blades are something that have been fairly consistent in my shaving journey. Something that I don't tend to rotate too much because frankly, I just don't see the need. But this blade, Bit Chrome Platinum, comes in at number four. Very consistent, very sharp. I'd say one of the sharpest on this list out of the packet for sure. Number three, now this is difficult for me and this is gonna shock some of you. Um, I really had to think about this in terms of what I like and what I've used the most over the past year. But number three comes in at the Pulse Silver Super Iridium. Now this was previously number one on my list and this was the first blade I ever found that to be very consistent for me. I think the Pulse Silvers just have a really good balance of both sharpness and smoothness. Uh, lasts a long time, very smooth, very sharp. Uh, can be a bit harder to get a hold of now. There have been many rumors throughout the past few years that uh, they are being discontinued. I've seen more surface recently. I don't know how true that is. So I suggest you look into it if you're curious about these blades. Uh, made in Russia, number three in the list, very consistent. Definitely one of my favorites. The, the, the tie for one, two, and three is so close that I'd be happy to use only those blades every day. So yeah, number three, Pulse Silver Super Iridium. Number two on my list. Now this was difficult for me because I was really thinking about putting the Pulse Silvers as number two on my list, but what have, what's come on number two now is the Gillette Nasset blade. Uh, I've used the Gillette Nasset quite a lot over the past couple of years now, to be honest with you. Um, it works very, very well in every razor I've ever put it in. It seems to last for a while for me as well. I can get about six or seven shaves with one of these. They, again, just a, a great balance of smoothness and sharpness, and they just work really well for my skin. I found that there are some passes with the Gillette Nasset that I can do 
that I can't actually do with quite a lot of other blades, including some of them on the list. So for consistency, for sharpness, for smoothness, the Gillette Nasa has to be the one for me, and that's, that's number two on my list. It's very, very good. Now, I wonder if you guys can guess what number one will be. It's a blade I found very recently, within the last few months, and it's a blade that I've absolutely fallen in love with, just the consistency of the blade and how long they last. The Wizomet Iridium Supers, or Super Iridiums. I believe these are closely related to the Pulse Silvers. However, I've got 37 shaves out of one of these. They just last and last and last. And it's not like you're stretching it after 10 shaves where it's not very good. For those 37 shaves, they are, it's, it's still pretty top notch. Like it still performs very, very well. It's incredibly smooth for me, even out of the packet. Uh, very sharp, still remains very sharp throughout the life of the blade. I've seen people get up to 100 uses of these, um, which is absolutely crazy. It's a 10 pack, you could probably get, you know, even if you're, even if you want to get rid of them fast, you could probably get 200 shaves out of this 10 pack. What I care about is that it's consistent throughout its life. And Wizomets, for me, are the most consistent blade. So Wizomet, Super Iridiums, they take the number one in my spot. And that concludes my top five list. Number five, Gillette Perma Sharps. Fantastic blade. Again, check the description. You'll be able to see how to get a hundred pack and a single pack. Number four, very recent acquisition. I love them though. Bic Chrome Platinums, number four. Number three, Paul Silver Super Iridiums. My previous number one dropped down the list a little bit, but that's still a wonderful blade. Number two, number one, Wizomet Super Iridiums. My favorite blade, top five blade list. How much experience do you have with these blades? Uh, have you used any of these blades before? What do you think of them? Let me know. I love these videos because frankly, blades are one of the most, well, arguably the most important part of our shaving arsenal. They are the thing that actually cut the hair on the face. So that is very important. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I would always very much appreciate it. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Groom Room. Goodbye for now.